Condenser water pumps what we'll be talking about now. These pumps take care of that, those two towers right there. We have the disconnects over there on the wall that operate the power for these motors. We have a motor, we have a pump. Same on the other side, motor and pump. Shut off valve for this pump. Shut off valve for this pump to isolate the pump. Same with that one. And the one in the back side here, same thing. These two pumps feed a heat exchanger on the back side of this tower. We're going to talk about the heat exchangers that take care of the two cooling towers for the east side of the building. There's four valves in the back of the heat exchangers that you can shut off if you have to maintain the heat exchangers. We have an air separator right here, which you have a valve on each side. If anything were to happen to that, you can maintain that by shutting the two valves off. All right, now we're gonna talk about the VFDs or for the controlling of the equipment outside on the roof that we were just talking about. Each one of the VFDs are labeled. As you can see right here, they're all labeled. Also, they're labeled with the horsepower of the motors on the bottom, each one. All this is controlled by building management. Uh, there's really not much you want to touch in here. 